Hi, I'm Janet Ingle, the Five Minute Read Maker. If you're watching this on YouTube, will you go ahead and click subscribe um, that way? Of course, you always know when I drop new episodes. And also it makes it easier for other people to find and enjoy my channel and learn more about the wondrous world of oboe read making and become better read makers and, you know, happier oboists and musicians and people. Um, today, I want to talk about micrometers, uh, like this and like this. And I want to talk about them because people ask me about them and because I have started publishing some uh, of my micrometer measurements. But I would say that the micrometer gives us this beautiful illusion of objectivity, right? I slide it in. I look at exactly how thick the middle of my heart is, and uh, it seems like having such a tool would really help us to be able to make better, more consistent reads. And that is not the way that I've ever made reads, right? I, I basically scrape away everything that doesn't look like a read and then fine tune it by playing on it until it sounds and feels like a read that I want to play. I make my reads very intuitively. I talk about them um, in ways that are that mirror that intuitive way that I approach read making. Um, and I've never found it particularly useful to like check my numbers uh, in all of the various areas of reads. And yet, I do understand that over a computer screen, if I'm talking about the way that a read feels and I'm playing it the way it sounds to me when I'm playing it with my oboe and my mouth and the way that I like to play, that might not be useful information to you at the other side of this video trying to make your own reads. And, some, and people crave these objective measurements to, to grab onto. All of that said, um, between my two different micrometers, I sometimes get different results. And for sure, from one read to another, um, the actual thickness of my finished read is going to be different. When I ran this experiment, in order to get something that could be construed as objective, I measured the upper blade and lower blade of eight different reeds. As I look at my micrometer chart here, and I look at just one dimension, this dimension right at the middle of the base of the heart, um, I see a range between 0.55 and 0.41. And these are on finished reads that I like actually would play on, could play on, have played on. Because any two pieces of cane um, can be dramatically different from each other. Some are more dense or less dense. Some are more hard and less hard. Some have more curvature and le more curvature and less curvature. Um, even within a, a single batch of cane, even f uh, multiple pieces of cane from the same, uh, you know, stick of bamboo, um, they vary. The, the cane is an organic material and it is not fully consistent. And I believe that I make consistent reads um, in that they all feel like I want them to feel by the time they're finished. But that doesn't mean that their measurements are precisely aligned. Um, they're proportionate for the most part, right? If I am 55 at the bottom of the heart, uh, apparently for that read, I'm also, I'm 42 in the window below the heart down in this area, down in this area. And if that region is 42, when the center of my heart is 55, um, in contrast, I had one where this region was 41 and this guy down here was 26. So a really striking difference. Um, and, but both reeds worked and the reeds felt great. And it's because I balance the reed, I, because I work on the reed that is in my hand. And if it feels like the heart is too heavy, 
I'll take off more from the heart, no matter what the micrometer says. If it feels like there's too much bulk in the middle of the window, I'll take off more from that area, no matter what the micrometer says. It's my job to make the read work. Um, so what I'm going to share below is my actual raw numbers from eight different reads that I measured in 10 or so different, 11 or so different um, points on the read. You'll notice that those numbers vary extremely widely. And I also took averages of those numbers and set that up in a diagram for you so that you can see what my average number looks like on a read. And I hope that is helpful. Um, I really have had many people ask me about precisely what my micrometer measurements are, and I want to be helpful and I want to share this information, but I want it to be very clear that this is not clear-cut objective information. And if you take your piece of cane wound up uh, on with your shape on your staple, and you make a read that uh, works to your comfort, your numbers very well might not match mine. Um, and that is okay. If you build a read on your staple with your shape and all of those things, and you build it to precisely my numbers, that might not feel good for you. And it might not feel good for me either. Um, honestly, if I took that, that read that you had built out to my specs, um, because it just depends. It just depends. The cane depends. The uh, climactic conditions depend. The altitude that you're working at depends. I'm sharing this information not because I think it will revolutionize your read making, but I hope because it will give you permission to um, approach your read from a standpoint of what does this read seem to need? What feels bad about this read and what can I fix? Not, oh, well, Janet does uh, 48.3 in the middle of her heart, and so I too should approach that measurement. No! Figure out what works for you, feel the read that you're working with, um, use the objective assessments that are useful, right? The crow, the beep, the way it feels, the way, uh, the way it sounds to you when you play it with your embouchure and your oboe, and adjust from there. Um, please do download my free micrometer chart and use it in any way that helps you, but note that, uh, I'm not 100% standing by that, and I'm not sure that I can make a read to these exact specifications and have it feel as good as any one of these eight reads that I measured for this process. I hope that that makes sense, and I hope that it has helped. Uh, this has been a five-minute readmaker lesson. You can follow these short videos here on YouTube. You can subscribe if you wish. Uh, and if you would like to reach me, to order reads or cane, or to ask me a question that I could answer in another short video for you, um, or to sign up for one of my read making courses or support systems. Um, you could find me at JanetIngle.com. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.